We need to have exchanges between the coaches. We need to have the athletes visit. And uh, we need to just make sure that, that our countries communicate. In March 2013, the U.S. Embassy in Turkmenistan hosted a visit from Robbie Powers, founder of the NGO American 300, and Dan Beery, the gold medal winner in rowing at the 2004 Athens Olympic Games. These sports envoys visited Turkmenistan to meet their peers in Turkmenistan's sports sector, learn about athletics in this country, and offer their expertise in organizing and participating in large-scale athletic events. Over the course of their trip, Powers and Beery ran laps and conducted training exercises with local track and field competitors at Copa Dog Stadium, spoke about how to maximize one's potential with students of all ages at schools in the capital as well as in Turkmenabad in the country's east, and also sat down with the country's Paralympic and Special Olympics medalists for an afternoon of discussion. The visitors had the chance to meet with the current and future generations of athletic stars from this desert nation. During each leg of the itinerary, Powers and Beery allowed ample time to sign autographs, take pictures, and pass around Beery's gold medal. While showing his award to audiences, Beery emphasized, this is the first gold medal you've held, but I think that it will not be your last. This timely visit comes as Turkmenistan seeks to bolster its sports capacity in preparation for hosting the 2017 Asian Indoor Games. In advance of this major competition, the country's first, a massive Olympic village and athletic complex is under construction in central Ashgabat. Powers and Beery were also special guests at the U.S. Embassy organized St. Paddy's Day 8K run. Over 100 runners gathered in front of the Ambassador's residence at 11 a.m. in order to make the trip to the Arch of Neutrality Monument and back. Ready to start our race in representing to ready stand. Dan Beery ran the 8K with a group of local participants, while Robbie Powers, who currently works as a sports commentator, provided play-by-play -play throughout the race. One kilometer in, it's going really well. We've got a nice incline going here. It's a beautiful day. God bless America. God bless Turkmenistan. In line with its goal of bringing people together, the run had a strong international feel featuring competitors not only from Turkmenistan and the U.S., but also from France, Romania, the United Kingdom, and other countries of the world. The winner of the Pittsburgh Marathon first play representing Turkmen! Congrats, Pittsburgh! Nor was the event just for adults. A fun run for kids was also held on embassy grounds to give everyone a chance to cross the finish line. The formal conclusion of the run saw the sports envoys hand out medals to the top finishers and offer words of congratulations to all participants. Footage of the U.S. Embassy St. Paddy's Day 8K will be shown at the Pittsburgh Marathon on May 5, 2013.